The latest buzzword in technology is OLED, a technology that's used to make screens. The Samsung S95 BQD OLED is the world's first 4K OLED TV. That's a significant increase in resolution, but it's also a significant improvement in picture quality. Despite its advantages, it's got disadvantages too. Here are top 5 things you will hate about the Samsung S95 BQD OLED. Only 55 and 65 inch versions available. For its initial entry into QD OLED, organic light emitting diode panels, Samsung is only selling 55 and 65 inch variants. No Jumbotron version of the Samsung S95 BQD OLED unboxing for those looking for a home theater experience and no 40-inch option for those of us with regular rooms as well as those with low budget. While having a giant 55 OLED panel might seem to be a godsend, it has its adverse effects, one of which is screen burn-in. This leaves a permanent mark on the screen and has become one of the major deal-breakers for this TV. You'll know more about screen burn and risk on the S95B soon. What do you call a security guard at a Samsung store? a guardian of the galaxies. My friend told me this one yesterday, and I thought it needed to be shared with the world. Premium Price Tag Premium pricing is a pricing strategy in which a company's items are strategically priced higher than competitors. The purpose of selling your items at a premium is to establish a market perception that your product is of higher quality than the competition. This is exactly what Samsung is doing with its new OLED, organic light emitting diode technology, the Samsung S95 BQD OLED. The 55-inch model, officially known as the QN55's 95B, will cost $2,200, about £1,670, or £2,980, while the 65-inch variant, smartly known as the QN65's 95B, will cost $3,000, approximately 2,275 pounds or 4,040 Australian dollars. This price tag can make it impossible for low-income families and individuals who barely make ends meet to get themselves the new Samsung S95 B QD OLED. People say the organic material that OLED TVs use is more expensive to produce. That is why those who buy it expect them to work without any issue. Unfortunately, the S95B can't even get its color precision correct. It constantly suffers color fringes, and we'll tell you more about that quite shortly. Stutter due to quick response time. The Samsung S95B QD OLED is exceptional for viewing movies in full darkness. It features an almost perfect contrast ratio thanks to its OLED display, offering deep inky blacks with no annoying blooming or haloing around light objects. Movies from any source are absolutely judder-free. The Samsung S95 BQD OLED removes judder from all sources without having to enable additional settings, and it upscales older DVDs beautifully. Again, the Samsung S95 BQD OLED has a quick response time, so motion seems clear, and it has great gray uniformity with less irritating dirty screen effect. Unfortunately, there is a visible delay and noticeable stutter in panning photos due to the near instantaneous reaction time. Okay, that's not good. Color fringing. Before we kick this section off, we want to draw your attention to a review we stumbled across on Amazon. It's by B.Cox and reads, For HD and 4K, there is only one brightness and contrast setting. When both are set to maximum, you won't be able to see 4K footage. It's too dark and HD content will be too bright. Maybe they're still sorting it out because this is a new TV, but I can't figure out where to get assistance or report it, so I'll type it here. In a bright setting, the Samsung S95 BQD OLED is a superb TV for viewing TV shows. It boasts a high peak brightness and excellent reflection management, allowing it to readily overcome glare in a bright setting. The Samsung S95 BQD OLED also features an excellent viewing angle, which is ideal for a large seating area or if you prefer to roam around with the TV while keeping the image realistic. It also upscales lower resolution video nicely, and the clever interface features a large range of streaming applications, 
ensuring that you can discover your favorite shows. Unfortunately, if you are in a room with any degree of ambient light, the blacks seem elevated and some colors appear oversaturated and the screen has a pink hue. So, it's best enjoyed in a perfectly dark room because that's when you can see all colors well produced and not oversaturated. Keep that in mind in case you go for one. Furthermore, Samsung S95B QD OLED review reveals that it employs a somewhat unusual pixel arrangement, which results in obvious color fringing and blurred lettering, making it unsuitable for use as a PC monitor for productivity. Risk of permanent burn-in Burn-in is a visible mark that remains on the screen regardless of what you are watching or doing. This is generated by leaving a fixed picture on the screen for an extended length of time, and it is most evident on OLED TVs and the Samsung S95B QD OLED. The following factors might be causing a temporary or permanent burn in on your Samsung S95B QD OLED television screen. Channel logos from sports, news, or weather channels. Fixed graphics from icons, banners, or gaming user interfaces. And this can mostly be prevented by the following. Avoiding unplugging the power cord Avoiding playing video games that display fixed images for a long time, avoiding watching news that displays images for a long time, and avoiding watching movies in 21 by 9 format for a long time. Aggressive Auto Brightness Limiting Auto Brightness Limiting ABL, appears to be prevalent in OLEDs and the Samsung S95 BQD OLED in particular. ABL restricts the maximum brightness when huge bright objects are displayed on screen, and sometimes when the television has a light source directly on it. And then the brightness began to dissolve. My it exists to avoid both massive energy usage and the OLED from overheating, overdriving individual pixels to the point of premature burnout. However, it can be quite unpleasant and distracting, especially if the auto brightness limitation is harsh and occurs with each passing scene. To give you an impression of how Samsung's QD TV performs when put against Sony's QD TV, we put together a comparison video where we highlight the strengths and weaknesses of both gadgets. That video is up already just head to our channel and find Sony A95K versus Samsung S95B. Why Sony A95K is better than Samsung A95B you'll certainly find it very handy. Thanks for joining us today too. See you next time.